adding notes to data files online using text marks. Before this recording, we need to go to the sample pull down, then to sampling configuration. A new dialog appears which shows me a list of existing channels. In addition to the waveform channel shown and the permanently enabled marker channel, I need to enable a text mark type channel. Once selected, the channel parameters dialog opens. Text marks are always stored in channel 30. As an alternative to manually adding notes to the data file, we can ask for a COM port to receive information from another computer. Over on the right, we can set the channel title and the maximum event rate. One hertz would be absolutely fine for manual recording. Once happy, we can press OK and then run now to go straight to recording. A new data file appears and we are ready to press start. Now that data is being recorded, we can add a text mark to help annotate our data. For this, we need to go to the sample pull down and then to create text mark, or alternatively, use Control and T as a hotkey combination. At this point, the create text mark dialog appears, and as we press save, a yellow icon is produced in channel 30. We can edit or replace text in the dialog and also change the marker code for the text mark. Different color codes are represented by a color change in the text marks. Every time we have pressed the save button so far, a text mark has been added to the current recording time in the file. This is referred to as max time within Spike 2. It is also possible to store a time for a marker using set time. You can see that the dialog has recorded the time of 59.35 seconds. When we press save this time, the text mark will be placed at the recorded time of 59 seconds. So that is how to add text marks online. Stopping recording, I'd like to show you some of the drawing modes for this text mark type channel. Right clicking on channel 30 opens up a menu which includes channel draw mode. Drawing modes can give us a better appreciation of the underlying data. These include rate of firing, mean or instantaneous frequency, and in our case, state for duration. In this mode, we can show the text note, the code, and we can also see the code as hexadecimal only. In addition to the drawing mode, we can use what are called vertical markers. In this dialog, we can select the channel to use as the data for the vertical marker, set the vertical markers on top of the data, and color the markers based on the original marker codes. With display text enabled, further display options are made available to us. Double clicking the text mark channel opens up a new dialog. From here, I can edit the text and the codes and apply these changes. Clicking the arrow button, the dialog opens up to show us a list of the text marks. At that point, we can select a range of text marks and then press show. The X axis of the data file then updates to show just this range. I hope that this has given you some insight into annotating your data online.